What's happening everyone? So welcome to a brand new episode from Tunisia. As you can tell, I'm in a very awkward place right now. As you can tell, I'm in a very awkward place right now. It's uh, kind of a little ticket booth, former ticket booth in Duga, Tunisia. So today I was, uh, and I am, visiting the ancient Roman site of Duga. But it's pouring outside, it's pouring completely. It was nice in Tunisia and Tunis this morning around, you know, eight o'clock when I got up. I said it's gonna be perfect. Not blue skies or anything, but it's gonna be perfect just because yesterday, again, it rained. Today, it's raining, you know, and sorry for the little echo here. But I came with a minibus, uh, Luage, I believe they're called here, to a uh, close by town then from there took another luage to the ruins and right now i'm just hoping for the rain to stop i said i'm gonna do a little intro in this uh, former ticket booth and then you know hopefully when it stops a little bit that i'm able to film something or at least take some photos head out i just uh, i did tell my uh, taxi driver i guess you can call him to come back at two o'clock i got around two hours to just roam around hopefully or less Depending on the weather, again, it's a beautiful, beautiful ancient site, probably the most, the most well preserved in Tunisia. But you just need a little bit of decent weather so we can actually visit it. It looks awesome. It's on a little hill. You know, I can show you guys a little bit how uh, the landscape is around. It looks like the rain is stopping a little bit, but the whole site is right behind me. So should be a really really good one i really wanted to make this a full episode on its own and hopefully i can still do that you know and accumulate as much footage as possible but with the rain it's sloppy the rain stopped a little bit but check out guys the view check out this gate picture perfect right there i'm gonna pull my camera and take some photos and hopefully, hopefully the rain will stop a little bit because there's so many photo opportunities everywhere. And yeah, it's just me and a couple other people walking by here. It's just phenomenal. Guys, this is just outstanding. Check it out. Man, I was not aware that this is this vast. And by the way, the two people here that uh, are working here, <laughs> they're kind of looking at me. They're kind of looking at me a little bit crazy because I'm in a t-shirt and it's uh, you know it's been raining it stopped it didn't stop it's still pouring a little bit right now so you may see a little uh, splash in the camera but either way they were looking at me a little bit like you know don't you have a jacket it, actually I didn't so I have a long sleeve shirt in my backpack but that's pretty much it besides that check it out so it stopped a little bit a little bit then it started again but can't wear all day for the rain you know i'm not even sure if my camera is waterproof the one that i'm filming on but getting close to the majestic temple check it out it looks phenomenal got some mosaic here as well yep it's not pouring pouring but it's uh, it's still out there Man, outstanding. Who would have thought? So this place is so wild, guys. I mean, you can pretty much walk anywhere you want. I'm trying to 
get some photos from right there it looks looks quite stunning but yeah check it out you can go pretty much anywhere as long as you're careful you know and you can tell you know this is something that has been renovated a little bit here on the main temple but besides that this just the way it was left and yeah a couple more people came in the meantime and probably like me they're all praying right now for the rain to stop but it just feels like it's uh, starting to rain faster and faster but a little bit a little bit of uh, lighter clouds the rain finally stopped so let's do some videos and some photos and a whole bunch of other things because we got until two o'clock when a taxi driver will come back after me This location that we have in front of us right now is the ancient forum of the city. It's just uh, adjacent to uh, to the temple. I'm reading a few of these uh, informational plates and I'm kind of relating it back to you guys. But I believe there should be an amphitheater here as well. So I'm going to go and uh, search for that as well. So according to this uh, informational plaque, this is where a market used to be all the way in 54 AD. So, you know, if you think about it, 2000 years old, you know, I mean, the only place I can think of that can match, you know, I guess the wilderness, you know, the freedom, the independence that you have at this uh, site, you can pretty much do whatever you want, is Jirash in... Uh, Jordan, but even there there were a few restrictions on uh, you know what you can climb and things of that nature, but no, so far Mind-blowing guys if there's one day trip that you got to make if you visit uh, Tunisia and you're in Tunis Is the ancient site of Duga And I have to admit I was not expecting Tunisia to be this green everything that I've seen today, you know, coming from Tunis, going to the countryside, ending up here was purely, purely green. Oh yeah, a standing view right there. So I've noticed some uh, mosaic while I was uh, doing some photos and uh, definitely decided to come down here to view it. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Just outstanding. Just right near these columns. Got a statue here as well. Yeah, these were probably bats, you know, where people baited. There's no sign, I have not seen a sign yet, but I'm trying to find one to make sure. Just because it's uh, it's a little bit underground and just the way the Every, uh, just the way everything is uh, is uh, shaped and uh, uh, formed, it looks like they could have been bats. Whoa. Spectacular! So it looks like it's going even lower. Not sure if we're allowed to go here, but I'm gonna take a peek at least. Just because this seems intriguing. Whoa. I have no idea what this is. There was no sign or anything. It's pretty rad. Pretty sick, I might say. So guys, although I pointed this out in uh, multiple of my videos, if you don't have blue skies, if you're thinking about creating some unique shots, always look for frames within a frame. 
and as you can tell there's shepherds everywhere here you know there's a whole bunch of sheep right there and you know people are living here like you know the ruins are part of their life and look at that we got some blue skies a little patch right here looks like more are coming but yeah guys this is the site it's quite expensive it goes from there it has a few ruins here on this side as well all the way in the back yeah so there's a lot to cover you know you need a minimum of two hours here that's for sure what would a roman city be without a roman theater amphitheater yeah i don't think you can call this an amphitheater but a theater for sure So I got around 45, 30 more minutes until uh, I probably need to head out and just taking it all in right now guys, I mean check it out, temple, theater, pretty much no one here, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, if you would have told me an hour ago that the weather's gonna change, it's gonna be super hot, sweaty and blue sky, I would have told you you're nuts, you know, uh, when I left this morning it did not say it's gonna rain. They said it's just gonna be overcast, cloudy, pretty much the whole day in Tunis, in Duga as well. But, you know, sometime life throws you a bone. And look what we have here, a special visitor at the ruins. Hello, buddy. Just watching the ruins, enjoying my day like you are. And I cannot leave without uh, mentioning what's the name of this temple and uh, exactly who built it and all that good stuff. So we have here the informational panel that shows it's the Capitolium. You know, built in 166 to 16 AD. Uh, okay, that's the range, clearly. During the reign of Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus. You can read the rest of them, but uh, yeah, it looks like it was dedicated to the tree at Jupiter, Juno and Minerva and uh, you know it's uh, built in the Corinthian style you know that's referring to the decorations at the columns at the top of the columns and this is the inside of the temple you know nothing major I think most of the ancient temples were pretty plain you know some of them may have been uh, you know decorated or painted but yeah nothing uh, Nothing crazy. So guys, uh, super super excited that I got to stay a little bit longer. I decided in that matter to stay a little bit longer because, you know, I was able to retake some shots with the blue sky. You know, my back dried up, but who would have thought? Who would have thought? Plus at the beginning I did not think the site would be this big and you can fill out two and a half hours quite quite fast but it's been phenomenal 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 I know I say that too often about too many things but it's the true statement in my opinion about this place again with no expectations but it became you know definitely a top three in Tunisia so far but more things to come more episodes from Tunisia to come till then Gratitude should be the only attitude. Peace and I'll see you next time.